What's up family? Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that thingy button. You know what I'm talking about. So you get notified when I upload a video so you don't miss no content. Right, I'm going to get into this video immediately and waste no time. I don't even know how to say this, man. The Tyson, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul's fight has officially been sanctioned as a real fight by the Texas Athletic Commission Board. You go figure it out. They must have got so much pressure from the general public about this Mickey Mouse fight, they've had to officially sanction it as a real fight because at first it was a real fight, then it wasn't a real fight, then they said they had to wear headgears, 16 ounce gloves, which wasn't an actual fight. It was more an exhibition or a really amateur superstar fight. They must have got so much backlash, Dev sanctioned this as an actual fight. It's actually going to be documented as an actual real fight. But there's a catch. They've changed the rule books. So how's it an actual fight? 10 rounds, 2 minute rounds with 14 ounce gloves. 14 ounce gloves, right? That's not the rules of an actual real fight in boxing. So that's just like a completely different uh, venue. They've just sort of made up something new just for this fight, right? Why? Oh. Obvious, for the money. Change the rule book. And if it's successful, they'll keep it for future fights. Oh man, this is... You know, when you've got someone, a living legend, that's alive still, right? From our era, he's still alive. To go into this fight, imagine, I mean, I've heard, I've seen even Jake Paul's got bigger. They're saying like he's 220 pounds. He's young. Decades between them. What about if he knocks Tyson out? The legend is dead. He's finished. Because everybody remembers your last fight, what happened. Not the previous. Right? And it's going to be bad for Jake Paul because if he does win... I don't know if you lot remember that MMA guy that he fought Holyfield. And uh, basically, he fought Holyfield when he was 55. He was saying that when Holyfield was hitting him, he was getting hit, he's thinking to himself like, you know, this guy's going to hurt me and knock me out. So he ended up knocking Holyfield out. After that, that guy goes right to hide. Everybody was on his back telling him that he took advantage of an old Holyfield. So it's dangerous for Jake Paul because Mike is loved. So he might be hiding himself. But then again, Jake Paul loves playing the villain. So he's looking at every, everybody looks at me as a villain. So he doesn't care. He wants to play that character. But he's uh, woo, walking a very thin line. So it should be an interesting fight. But they're saying that Mike Tyson, two minutes is enough. You see him on them videos when he's punching the bags, uh, pads and everything. 20 seconds, mate. 20 second clips from four or five years ago, probably, not even recent. The guy is smoking all the time, weed. He's on mushrooms, psychedelics. Psychedelics that absolutely changes your perspective on life, warps your perception about life. It just shows him he's in shape, he's in shape, he's in shape. And he says he's training three times a day, which I do not believe at all because. This guy in his prime never trained three times a day. Maybe trained three times a day back then, 30, 40 years ago. This is a mockery on boxing, man. But I'll probably watch it at one point. But I'm not going to tune into this fight. But the, uh, the casual fan will, because of the hype, because of Jake Paul, and because of Tyson, uh, out of curiosity, some of the old fans. But... It's a lose-lose for Tyson, to be honest with you. Beats him, it's expected. Loses, he's too old. Jake Paul's going to get villainized even more. But maybe he, he thrives on that anyway. So it's going to be beneficial more to Jake Paul. Uh, Jake Paul. Jake, I was going to say Jake Paul. Not Paul, sorry. Jake Paul. But that's the end of the video. Hope you like, subscribe. 
Up to you, man. I I'm not watching the fight. I might watch it somewhere down the line, probably hear about it the next day. Anyway, like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button for all this wicked content, mate. Smash that like button before you stop watching this video. Stay lucky, stay blessed. Check you on the next video.